So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. You remember yesterday we learned about a math concept where we would subtract numbers that are near each other on the number line. And when we subtracted numbers like 7 minus 6 or 10 minus 9 or 4 minus 3, what was the answer every time? It was 1, right? Well, on your fact practice sheet, I want you to get that out and get it handy because I'm going to talk about it for a second. We have different kind of math facts. Some of these are subtracting one. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. Sometimes we're subtracting two, which means if the number is even or odd, you go backwards to the next even or odd number. Um, sometimes we're subtracting from 10 and we can use our handy dandy tools to subtract from 10. But a few of these are what we call differences of one. That means the answer is going to be one. You say, oh, great, yeah. They probably put all those in one section. No, not so easy. They have them mixed all throughout this paper. So what you might want to do is go through and circle all of your differences of one first. So let's think about it for a second. What did Mrs. Zimmerman say you could use to identify if it was a difference of one? Do you remember? Um, if the numbers are beside each other. So for instance, I look, this is just like your paper here. If I look right here, six minus five, well, those are gonna be a difference of one. So I'm gonna circle six minus five on my paper because that way I know, oh, that is a difference of one. Okay, let's go through here and look. Eight minus seven would be a difference of one. I'm looking, oh, 10 minus nine because those are beside each other when you count. We couldn't ever have 9 minus 10, right? Because we can't have 9 cookies and eat 10 of them. That would be a fun miracle, right? 3 minus 2 are beside each other. 5 minus 4. You see where we're going here? Let's see. 7 minus 6. Down here, 9 minus 8. And you can know that all the ones that we circled, we went through and we circled those first. What's the answer to all of those going to be? 1. Because if they're beside each other, eight take away seven, well, the answer is one. You've taken away almost all of them, okay? Three minus two, 10 minus nine. So if you circle all those first, then you can already know that the answer to those is one. And then the rest of them are review facts. If you're taking away two, then you find out if it's the even or odd number, you go backwards the next even or odd number, okay? Minus one, counting backwards. Minus zero, same number. Um, so take a minute to answer these. You can pause the video, and then we'll come back and go over the answers together. Okay, let's go through these answers together, and then I have a fun video I'm going to show you about sorting and fractions in just a minute. Okay, I'm actually going to show you the video on my own TV so I can talk about it. Okay, let's go over these together, and you mark on your paper if you got them right. Um, you're going to put a star or a check mark or whatever. If you got them wrong, then you're going to circle them and you can check them later. Okay, here we go. 8 minus 1 equals 7. 6 minus 5 equals 1. 10 minus 6 equals 4. 8 minus 7 equals 1. 11 minus 2 equals 9. Now, I didn't say this before you started, but I would think you would know. Remember, we're subtracting here. Hopefully you didn't add. If you added, you need to go back and fix all that. And then you can pause the video again and fix it again. Remember, we're subtracting. That's what we're thinking about for the next few days. Okay, next row. 10 minus 5 equals 5. 5 minus 2 equals 3. 10 minus 9 equals 1. 10 minus 4 equals 6. 3 minus 2 equals 1. Did you get them? Give me a hip, hip, hooray. I want to hear you. Hopefully you got more. Okay, next row. 5 minus 4 equals 1. 10 minus 3 equals 7. 2 minus 0 equals 2. 7 minus 6 equals 1. 9 minus 2 equals 7. You see here, those are those differences of 1. The numbers are beside each other in the number line, so the answer would always be 1. 6 minus 2 equals 4. 9 minus 8 equals 1. 8 minus 2 equals 6, 10 minus 1 equals 9, 
4 minus 3 equals 1. Okay, then you can set that off to the side. We're going to take a minute to watch a video. It's going to take a second here for Mrs. Zimmerman to get it put together. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the video as we watch it. Okay, so I'm going to click on this star here, and that should bring it up for us. When we look at a group of objects, we can sort the objects into groups. Once we've sorted the objects into the right groups, see all the animals? We can count how many objects there are in each group. Sorting and counting. The first thing we should do before we start sorting is to look at the objects and the names of the groups. It looks like we'll be sorting some animals into different groups. Okay, I'm going to pause the video for a second. Um, let's take a look at the picture and see how many animals there are all together. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So how many animals are there? Eleven. We're going to need to remember that as we go to sorting. Okay? Those awesome elephants and beautiful bears again. Awesome. Let's start group by group, or in this case, animal by animal. We'll find and sort all of the same type of animal before moving on to the next. After we've sorted all the animals, we can count how many elephants and bears there are in their groups. We can start with the elephants and then move on to the bears. Let's get started. Okay, you ready? We're going to count Here's the elephants. Elephant. Awesome. Let's put him in the group for elephants. Can you find any more elephants to sort? How many more? Aha! Here's another elephant. Let's put him in the group of elephants too. Are there any more elephants? I see a few more. Let's put them all in the group of elephants too. Now... Okay, let's take a look at this. How many elephants are there? How many animals were there? Do you remember how many there were? There were 11. So how many elephants are there that were in the group. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five. And they'll count them in just a minute. Five. So we know that there were five out of 11. We call that a fractional part. It's a piece of the total part. So five out of 11 were elephants. Let's keep watching. There's no more elephants. Let's move on to the bears. Here's the first bear. Let's put him in the group for bears. Can you find any more bears to sort? Here's some more bears. Let's put all of these bears in the group for bears. Now that we've correctly sorted our animals, let's count how many of each kind there are. How many elephants? Okay, so how many elephants are there? There's five elephants. How many animals were there all together? There were 11. So we would say that five out of 11 animals were elephants. How many bears are here? Let's count the bears. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six out of 11 were bears. And that's how you would count that fractional part. Let's keep watching. Elephants are there. How many bears are there? Let's count and find out. Let's count together. Let's count the elephants carefully to find out how many there are. I see one, two, three, four, five elephants. That's awesome. There are five elephants. And that was five out How about the bears? How many bears are there? Let's count the bears carefully to find out how many there are. I see one, two, three, four, five, and six bears. So that would be wow. six out of 11. Great job. Let's try to sort and okay, count one again. more group of objects. We'll get started. Okay, what type of a group is this? The last group was animals, right? The last group was animals. What type of a group was this? This is shapes, right? We can see what, that they're shapes. Okay. Together, but I'll ask you to finish sorting and counting these objects on your own during challenge time. This time, the groups will be different, so we'll have to pay close attention to the details. Here, we have a group of shapes. We'll be sorting them into triangles and circles. 
triangles Let's and circles. Let's use the same strategy as before and sort group by group, or in this example, shape by shape. Let's get started with triangles. After we've sorted our shapes, we can count them. Here's like the first triangle. Making, all of us, Let's all of put it in the handy. group for triangles. Okay. Are there triangles. any more triangles? You see the other triangles? Well, now it's your turn. Let me hang I'll on leave for a you second. Before we move on, I want to see how many total shapes there are all together. Okay, so let's count the first one that they move to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine total shapes. We're going to find out <coughs> how many shapes out of nine were triangles. We're going to find out how many shapes out of nine were circles. We're going to start by moving their triangles over first. Challenge. I want you to finish <laughs> sorting the shapes into two groups and count how many of each shape there is when you're done. I'll give you some time to think, but if you need more time, you can pause the video and answer when you're ready. Okay, can you think of how many triangles there are? One, two, three, four, right? And how many circles? One, two, okay, three, here's four, the answer. five. Here's the other triangles. Let's put them all in the group for triangles. Now we can find all the circles. Here's the first circle. Let's put it in the group for circles. And here's the rest of the circles. They all belong in the group for circles too. Okay, so let's take a look here. Remember, how many shapes were there all together? There are nine shapes all together. So how many out of nine were triangles? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. We would say that four out of nine are triangles. Four out of nine are triangles. That's called a fractional part. So that's a big mathematician's word, a fractional part. Okay, let's look at the circles. How many circles out of nine? One, two, three, four, five. So we would say five out of nine or circles. Now that there's no more shapes left, let's count how many triangles there are first. Okay, let's ask another question here. Now I have a group only of triangles, okay? I can see that some of them are blue and some of them are another color. How many out of four are blue? Two, two out of four are blue, so one, two. Two out of four triangles are blue and that's called a fractional part. We would call that two fourths. If there's four parts and two of them are blue, two out of four are blue or two fourths. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get ready for our math, um, math guided class practice and that'll be next. We'll talk more about this on that worksheet.